Oh, you better not turn them against Omega. The last time we crossed paths, you had just lost a member of your squad. Doctor, there is an incoming transmission from Governor Tarkin. You're in shit. Oh, I don't like hearing them in pain! Come on, boys! Clone Rebellion, let's go! Hey, kid. What's going on? We're breaking out. Here. Follow me. Are you joking? The wise course of action is to leave. Shut up, back. Rampart! Clones don't leave our brothers behind. Listen, is anyone willing to stand with us? I will. Me too. I'll stand with you. Good. You two, get the engine to the hangar and secure a shuttle. The only way you will be free is if Hemlock is gone. And the data banks are destroyed. Then let's get to the lab. No. Your fate is with them. We'll need this. Yeah, you sacrificed yourself for the clones. Oh, Rampart, don't be a dick. I have the situation under control. Do you? <laughs> you can expect my arrival shortly. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you planning to get from this, buddy? Like, what is your plan here? What would killing Nala say do for you? Like, what are you gonna do with the fucking plans? Absolutely fucking nothing. Like, I can't understand what his plan could be. Like, is he a vampire? Does he want the blood? What research could be of such value to the Emperor? Oh, fuck. No! Oh, fuck. A glaring weakness in clones is their loyalty to one another. This has been very enlightening. My work will never belong to you. Let's go, Queen. It will always be Kaminoan. <laughs> Not any longer. Oh, boom, bitch! Oh, oh get fucked! <laughs> God, em the Emperor is not gonna be happy. Echo should be fine because he's got a helmet on, right? Wow! Hey, hold up! Helmet's off. Oh my god. There. You failed too. Your dad is gone. On record. One thing. I have them. Yes! Let's go, Wrecker, honey! 
Oh! Oh, I'm so glad the conditioning didn't, like, work. Scorch! We're leaving. He handcuffed her to him! Dude's insane! What the fuck? Oh! Yes, nice one, Echo. Oh my god. Dude, what an up what a weapon upgrade, Hunter. Dude, this is where he takes off his mask. I I I really hope he's nobody. Okay, good. Okay, good. Get fucked. like that. Cantris Omega. She knows what to do, Crosshair. Come on, Crosshair, you got this. Yes! Oh, that's so satisfying. Bye-bye. Oh, fuck. Hug them for God's sake. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get to the shuttle. Oh my god, we're leaving Tantus! <laughs> They're all leaving Tantus! <laughs> oh my god! Whew. I wonder if any of the other clones survived at all with them. Oh! Oh, lads, your timing's impeccable! Oh, fuck. Governor Tarkin, I have completed my assessment. Dr. Hemlock and several troopers perished in the attack. Was any of his research salvageable? No. <laughs> tanks were destroyed. Get fucked! Hemlock's failings have cost us enough. Shutter this facility indefinitely and redistribute all funding to Project Stardust. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, how badly I want to see Tantus explode into flames. Some of the clones did make it back! Oh! <laughs> They've adapted quickly. Kids are resilient. Our lives have never been our own. Until now. I'm heading to Pantora to help get some of the clones settled. I'm sure Senator Chuchi would find what you have to say very helpful to our cause. I'd like to help out however I can. Yes, Emery! Oh, I feel like she's gonna have a really special, like, bond with Echo now. Oh, so many clones made it! <laughs> Hemlock gone, and his data destroyed. We're finally safe. And so are you. Will it take long to find new families? Rex and I are uh, working on it. But we'll look after them until then. I'm so happy Wrecker's here as well. 
Riker's had way too many close calls. We've all fought enough battles for one lifetime. Now, we get to choose who we want to be. Like what? Whatever we want, kid. Family. Whatever we want. <laughs> the rebellion needs pilots now more than ever. I made my choice, Hunter. I want to do more. And we want to keep you safe. <laughs> you have. You're our kid, Omega. You always will be. Hunter, you've all fought enough. My God. <laughs> this? It's my fight. I'm ready. Keep an eye on Wrecker and Crosshair while I'm gone. If you ever need us, we'll be there. Oh. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. <laughs> it's all right. She'll be fine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, a lot just happened. Ugh. Where'd I even start? I'm so I'm glad that these are happy tears and not sad tears. Like I'm sad that it's over. But the boys lived. They got to free other clones as well. And they're all happy living on Pabu. That was like the best outcome that we could have had. Echo is off with Emery on, uh, was it Pantora? Uh, so we know he's okay. That was my biggest fear. Echo and Wrecker were my two biggest fears, specifically Echo. The Domino Squad lives on. The last Domino didn't fall, guys. The last Domino is still fucking standing. Oh, and Omega, Omega at the end. That was honestly such a beautiful ending. Like, they couldn't have done that any better. If they had just left it as them sitting on Pabu while they just got back, like, that would have been nice, but it wouldn't have been a satisfying end because it's like, well, what happens next? But now we know that they live, they survive on till they're older and Omega joins the fucking rebellion and she's got text goggles on her dashboard and she's got Gonky with her and Batcher is still alive. Ugh. But so much sad stuff happened as well. I really thought Wrecker was a goner. I really so many times thought he was gone, but he's our strong boy. He can do anything. 
Crosshair is now twinning with Echo. And look, Skywalker, like he's he's one of the Skywalkers now, apparently. Getting rid of a hand isn't exactly the best course of action, but also it stops him from shaking. It gets rid of the PTSD. You know, Tantus is gone. The data is gone. Hemlock, Rampart, they're all gone. So he can relax. Omega's fine. His brothers are safe. So I'm hoping that he can, he's been able to recover from that. Um, really, really brutal seeing them get attacked like that and immediately just go down like that was horrible uh the clone x troopers were fucking wild i would love i i would love to see more of them in action because as scary as they were and as much as i didn't want them there they were also really badass like they're fucking cool i need like even a comic on those because they're so they're so cool i need to see their armor like up close and their weapons and everything they were- that was such a fucking cool little squad. Um, Scorch? I- I was- I've- I'm a- I'm a firm believer. Well, I was a firm believer in, oh, maybe we'll get another Republic Commando game. The Delta Squad, we're gonna go back and find him. You know, Scorch would get free. He would find Boss and Fixer and they'd go free Sev and then we get Delta Squad again. But no, they just- she's gone and he just- he just- whew, and whoo! I'm very sad. I had so much hope for Scorch. I really, really did. I was I was holding on to so much hope. And it's just been shattered. And we've obviously had our official confirmation. Obviously, Tech is unfortunately dead. Um, which is... Uh, I feel like as the episodes went on, it kind of started to hammer it in a little bit. Like, okay, he actually is gone. Um, we all... He was such a great character. We all hoped he would be. But the line... The line Clone 90, or Clone Force 99 died when Tech died? Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. It was... The fact that it was Crosshair saying that as well, him acknowledging Tech's death as well, it's... It just made it so much more difficult. But, oh, fuck. Oh. Tech will be proud of them. I loved Omega and Echoes. Like, I love how Omega just takes after all her brothers in some kind of way. She takes after Echo, Wrecker, Crosshair, Hunter, all in different kind of ways. And it's really fun to see. And Echo is like, yep, I know that's Omega. Because I do the same. Um, again, Echo and Emery, great fucking team. I really hope that they become, like, really, really close. And have, like, really... Like, a really good bond. A really good attachment. Um, and... Uh, I think I think Emery is a really cool addition to it all. We may never see her again, but I'm very glad that she survived. I really thought she was going to sacrifice herself, but she didn't. But also, we now just have a Zillow beast on the loose. We didn't touch on that one at the end. I, I... We did get a mention of Project Stardust as well. Um, so now Project Necromancer is kaput. And Nalise is gone. She, I mean... She did the right thing. She she sacrificed herself for the clones, which I feel like she she needed to do. Um, Rampart is such a fucking idiot. Like, he's so dumb. He could have easily got out of there. He could have gone and been free. But no, his stubborn bitch-ass ego was like, hey, I'm going to find out all this information that I can do absolutely nothing with. And then I'm going to blow up Nalise, or I'm going to shoot Nalise, and then die. Which was kind of fun. It was kind of fun little karma where he was like, ha ha, and then he was like, uh-oh, that's a grenade. That was very satisfying. Very satisfying and Rampart. Glad he didn't survive. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say about this, guys. I'm really emotional. I'm really thirsty. I'm really hungry. I need to go have a nap. I need to go clean my makeup off my face because I... <laughs> I'm a bit, a little bit, a little bit emotional. Um, and reminder that it's okay to be emotional. It's okay to cry over fictional clones. Don't let anybody tell you differently. You're not a bad person. You're not a shill. You're not weak. You're not soft. Just because you get emotional over some of the greatest characters in existence. Like, come on, come on, come on. We're all allowed to get a little bit emotional. Um, and yeah, so th thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. I feel really sad that it's over. I'm satisfied by the ending. But I'm really sad that it's over because the Bad Batch is so special and I just... Ugh. Oh. Oh, Wrecker, hello. Oh. Oh, we've got Wrecker and... T a very tiny tech, but yeah. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching.
and joining me on this journey. Next reaction series will be Tales of the Empire and then the Acolyte. For any X-Men people out there, I am... I'm I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue X-Men reactions, but I'll mention that at another point. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, stop by and drop some more comments and drop some likes and come get emotional with me for Tales of the Empire and the Acolyte because I'm so, so excited for those. Let me know in the comments what you think. What was your favorite part of the episode? What was the saddest part of the episode? Are you satisfied with the outcome? What do you think is going to happen with Azillo Beast? Are we going to get a new series? Is it going to be Omega? Like, what, what's, what, what's, what, what, give me all your thoughts. I want to know all your thoughts and all your, all your thoughts and emotions. So yes, again, thank you guys. And I don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> I'll see you guys in, in the next video. So peace and may the Clone Force 99 be with you. <laughs>